This is Brian Sanders, and thank you for joining me today for yet another video of 10 different things. This time will be two different sets of 10 each. 10 things for the same thankful experience as I can believe, and 10 things I believe the lost sinners will endure while they are there. Now, if you doubt the saved Christian, then here are the 10 things I believe that will happen to the saved saints. There may be more than 10 things that happen, happen here, but there are 10 things I recollect that I believe can take place within their soul as they reside in heaven. First one is abundance of love, all the love that one can experience from all throughout heaven and from the Christian saints, angels, and Jesus and God himself. The second one is extreme joy and delight, excitement and having a chance to check out all the things of glory while one is there, streets of gold, pearly gates, etc., etc. And the third one is no sickness, no possible way to get sick in any fashion or form or dying again. The fourth one is seeing no nightfall. It will always be pretty much light everywhere I would think. Fifth one is communication with other saved saints, angels, and God himself. Meeting and communicating with other past family members, friends, angels, and have already passed on as presently in heaven. And the sixth one is rewards, crowns of achievement that the saved saints can display to the Lord and other saved saints. The seventh one is glorious worship and singing. Have an opportunity to get joined to sing as angels and other saints as they sing praises to Jesus and God. Eighth one is traveling, being able to travel to different parts of heaven to check out all the wonderful things and places of heavenly beings. Ninth one is gaining more knowledge, receiving more understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, especially in biblical portions through study. Tenth one is biblical characters, meaning and greeting biblical characters from the past and communicating with them. If you are not a saved Christian, then hell is to be your likely dest destination if you are not saved. At the time of your death. Here are 10 things I have picked out that I believe that happened with lost sinners, but there could be a lot more than 10 listed here. The first one is pain, like wailing and gnashing of teeth, extreme level of pain from the fire, and being tortured or imprisoned, and the lost soul is trapped there. The second one is extreme fright of all the terrible things that souls will fear from demons or creatures, and whatever the kingdom of darkness has for them. And the third one is hopelessness. Having no hope, things getting better while their soul is trapped, stuck, or isolated in hell. Fourth, extreme thirst, not having any water that they can find themselves, and staying dried up from the heat of dehydration within their soul flesh. The fifth one, regret and remembrance, remembering all the things they said and done, wishing they could relive their life again better, and making sure they had their sin forgiven. Sixth one is no way of escape, no way to their tortured soul to get out of. Such a painful and terrible place that they want to get out of fast. The seventh one is disgust. Here, disgust of maggots or worms within their soul like body at times where the worms and maggots never die, and from the severe stench smell of burning sulfur and burnt soul flesh. The eighth one is suffocation, difficulty breathing because of hell having very little air, and because of hell being closed up and the fire burning up a lot of oxygen. The ninth one is no mercy, demons having no mercy for the Lost souls choosing different forms of punishment to inflict upon lost souls as they will have to endure in hell. And the tenth one is no peace to sleep. From all the screams of souls in the fire and various tortures from demons that will have happen over a long stretch of time and impossible to sleep. I would think a lot of people would not just really, really want to go to hell. A lot of sinners would probably find too much pleasure in their sins they have to justify the excuse to not give up their sins. But I believe if you ask more than once daily for forgiveness of sins and pay your tithe to the work of the Lord, Jesus our God, and try and live your life right, and you can have a chance in heaven. So I imagine a lot of people out there will wonder how I got all this information on heaven and hell. I got this information from various places over time. I think maybe a lot of on the internet, some possibly from other YouTube channels, but I was able to put it all together here on this video to share it with you. So what is it going to be for you? Is it going to be heaven where you're always in pleasure and always in comfort never have to worry about what's going to happen to you? Is that going to be your destination? Or is your destination going to be hell where it's agony and pain, and you can never get out of it, ever. Is that what you want, hell? Well, you can never get out of it. 
never can escape what you're going to be. And thank you for joining me for this video. Until next time, if I'm healthy enough, I'll bring another one to you. I don't know when it'll be, but thanks for watching.